Round one. Fight. Perfect. You win. I think he's looking at us. This little guy is called Hemidactylus frenatus, or common house gecko, wall gecko, Asian house gecko, or one of many other names. Over here in Malaysia, his name is Chichak. They are native to South and Southeast Asia, but they have been quite successful in invading most of the tropical and subtropical places of the world. As you can see, the name wall gecko is not wrong. They basically act like the floor is lava. Let's see how geckos begin. In this case, the egg came first because there is no chicken. And just like their parents, the eggs stick to a surface. And from what I read, they lay at most two of these in one go. And then after somewhere between 45 and 90 days, the babies come out of the egg and they get straight to work. They don't need school, parents or milk. They start quite small and grow up to about 15 centimeters long. And they can live about seven years if they are lucky. They are most active at night, which is when they hunt for insects, their main food source. Often near lamps because the insects go there. I think this one is quite happy because a swarm of flying termites has just arrived. The reason these termites go flying is to find a partner and then find a spot to make babies and start a new colony. But for all of them it is their first day flying so they are quite clumsy and a lot of them end up on the floor. This makes the kitty really happy. It is like a buffet falling down from the sky for him. Speaking about buffet, I saw this video on YouTube where someone's feeding cooked rice to the wall geckos and they really seemed to like it. But when I tried this, they didn't care for it at all. Also, I often seen them um, ignoring ants when there's different bugs available that they seem to like better. Such as this millipede that is lucky enough to fall instead of being eaten and what I believe is probably a fruit fly. And most of the time they'll sneak up on their prey carefully like this, but not always. Look at this one go. I can hear the kitty cat got another cicada. He also has his preferred insects to eat. The termites seem to be his favorite though, but those only come once or twice a year. In daytime they become noticeably less active and it seems a lot of them are hiding somewhere. Allegedly what they are doing is they are thermoregulating which means they're going into sunny or shadowy spots and on warm or cold surfaces as needed to keep their body temperature correct. Because they are cold blooded it is not automatic like with you and me. Another way they are quite different from you and me is the way they keep clean. The one in this picture might look dirty, but actually it's his old skin flaking off to reveal brand new clean skin. And their eyes are permanently open, they have no eyelids that they can close. But they can lick their own eyeballs, and they do, that's how they keep their eyes clean. If you have specifically this Frenatus species in your house, you will certainly be familiar with this sound. The first time I heard that, I thought it's a bird, until I noticed it's happening indoors as well. The meaning of that sound depends a bit on who they're talking to. It can be one gecko telling another gecko, get off my lawn. They use it for territorial purposes, to protect their feeding spot. And they also use the same sound to attract the ladies from what I read. The local belief, and this might actually be true, is that they're eavesdropping on you and make that sound when they agree with something you've just said. Wall geckos can also be controlled remotely with a laser pointer. However, if you want to do this yourself, only ever use a red laser pointer with a power below 5 milliwatts. 
For some reason, different colors, like the green ones, usually have more power than they say on the label, and they are excessively dangerous, they can permanently damage your eye, even from just a reflection, and they quite often also emit infrared light, which is invisible and might not necessarily reflect in the same direction as the visible light. So let's lure them together and see what happens. For how often they go I find it rather surprising that you almost never get to see it actually happening. This is the best I managed. Another less common sound used in territorial quarrels is this. And this is probably why they avoid the floor, but listen. Avoiding the ground is not their only defense against predators, they can also slightly change their color between lighter and darker shades to blend in with their surroundings. And presumably, the shape of their pupils being squiggly like this is also for camouflage. Like many other lizards, geckos can drop their tail as a diversion when attacked. After it's been dropped, the tail will still move and even respond to touch. Unfortunately, in this case it did not fool the kitty cat. If they do succeed to fool the kitty cat, they will actually grow a new tail that can again be dropped. They are never quite the same like the original one though, and they can end up a little bit weird. If you live somewhere that has Hamidactylus frenatus, they will of course invite themselves to your house, whether you want it or not. But it is generally not a bad thing, they will eat the mosquitoes for you and they generally don't cause any trouble. For this video I even went to search for their poop and all I found was mouse poop. Maybe it's just like when they die and the ants take care of it. Nevertheless, haters gonna hate, so this spray exists. But to my relief, when I researched it, it's not a poison, it just makes it so that where you spray it, they cannot walk. I will end with a little story. So sometimes, the wall geckos will be walking on the ceiling and they will fall for whatever reason. And the local wisdom here in Malaysia is that if one of them falls on your head, it is a good omen and you should go buy a lottery ticket or something. So this actually happened to me, one of them fell on my head when I opened the fridge to get a beer. So I bought myself a lottery ticket. The number I bought was 2187. And the number that won the next day was 2178. And then the next day, 2187 won. So my theory is that it fell sideways or something, because that's too damn close to be a coincidence. Of course, there is a lot more to learn, like how do the feet of these lovely creatures manage to stick to walls, but there are other people more qualified to tell you that. Most sources I find on Google say it's because of Van der Waals forces, but I also found a paper saying that maybe in big part it's actually electrostatic. And with that I will say thank you very much for watching, I hope you had a good time, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen and goodbye.